this is um, the IMCUSA Flabby.com Consulting Documents Library, and David's going to show us how we might go in and buy, how a client or how a customer or a buyer would go in. So, David, what should I do first? Sure. Um, typically, the customer comes um, because we sent an email, let's say, or they saw something on social media and they go directly to the document. Um, but but if that's if, let's say they just came directly to the website. Uh, what I recommend is first to go to the business toolkits page, which you'll see a link on the top of every single page. So once on this page, what we try to do is because we have we have a lot of documents and it's often hard to navigate and find exactly what you're looking for. Um, we took documents and we grouped them into the common topics uh, that, that have been defined by us. We call each one of these management topics a business toolkit. And so uh, the easiest thing to do is probably just to search the page for the, uh, the topic you're looking for. But on the top of the page, you do see our top uh, 20 topics. Um, and if, uh, let's say you're interested in one of them, whichever one it is, uh, you're free to pick one. You can click into it and you'll see the documents that fall under that toolkit. Okay, I'm sorry, I was looking at the chat. The, you said, the question was, what are some top selling document, documents? I think you already mentioned, so these would be, are these in order, like process improvement, lean manufacture, management, yeah. order of, of search results? Uh, the, these are the order of the top, sort of topics, I guess. Okay. Not necessarily the best selling documents, but um, for the type correlation. Okay, so if I click on, say, project management, it's gonna take me into a section, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so let's click on that. And the other thing I like about your website, David, it's it's pretty easy to navigate, and I think it's clean to to see. Cool. So Thanks. What does the top Flevy author logo mean right here? Um, so actually, if you put your your cursor over that question mark, uh, we try to define it on a high level. Um, Essentially, we have, I forget about how many now, maybe like 15 or so. It says you have 19. 19, okay. <laughs> 19 uh, top authors, and this is based on a number of factors. It's slightly arbitrary, but it's based on uh, one, most importantly, sales, uh, two, customer feedback, um, and three, just our own evaluation of the quality of the documents. Okay, when I clicked on the question mark, as you said, it explained exactly what you just said. I assume you're seeing the screen that I'm pointing to because I wasn't sure if it was changing. Yeah. So, since that's the top author, if I, I say, okay, if I want to know about that, where would I click? Do I click on the picture here to see the slide? Or do I use um, Yeah, you can click on either. So, uh, either one works. This will now take you to the product page. And so, once you're on a product page, on the top left, uh, the preview should load and it should be about a third of the slides. So in this case, the document 77 slides in total. Um, I guess it would be about 25, 26 slides. So you are still seeing my screen as I change, right? Yep, I can see it. So this is, I'm just gonna go through a few and it's actually definitely. Now is this a PowerPoint that they're buying or a PDF? Uh, this is a PowerPoint. So, you know, sort of light blue box on the right side that includes high-level document details, like the file format, file size, number of slides. Oh, I see, right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and on the left side, right underneath the preview is the document description. Some are longer, some are shorter, because this is sort of written by the authors. Um, and so in this case, it's sort of a, a shorter type of uh, description. But um, let, let, let's say you're interested in this topic or you're interested in more stuff from the same author. Uh, on the top right underneath the document name, you can click into the author's page. And oh, so the author has a page too. I didn't know that. That's very cool. Yeah, the author has a page. Um, in this particular case, the author isn't super active. Uh, there's some author pages that I can show you in a bit that are uh, much more detail. But this one, you see, you see the documents that the author offers on the right side and down on the left side, an overview of uh, who the author is. And as you can see, this is a consulting firm as well. Mm -hmm. 
great. Any other questions you have while we're in here from my audience? So, yeah. Anything else you want to show while we're in here before I stop sharing? Uh, sure, yeah, just real quick, I'll show you another author page. Um, if you just, I guess, go to the, the URL up top and change that uh, Pulsa to uh, Team Neo C. C E A M. Yep, T E A M N E O S I. So, this is an interesting firm. They do uh, communications consulting, plus, they also offer a software. And this is a team of, um, I think they were formerly partners at McKinsey in Australia within the communi corporate communications practice. Um, but you'll see here that uh, it's a little bit, page is a little bit more detailed. Um, there's a few more tabs on top. There's, they also offer some free downloads, which we use as lead generation. Um, so for the lead generation downloads, uh, it's just your typical lead gen page where you enter your email, your name, and you get the document for free. And then the author will receive uh, all that information plus um, some additional information about uh, that we gather from your IP, like your location and the company you work for. Um, you can also, some authors, in this case, this author has also published some articles. Um, and then we also have a contact page uh, for this author, which includes, which is a way for a potential customer to directly contact the author with uh, stuff that may be outside of the scope of um, their, their documents. So this really shows us how this can be a lead generation for us. It's, uh, yeah. is, is there a place, there's nothing where it um, connects to our websites or anything like that? Um, not to the website, but on the, on, the top, uh, on the bottom of the contact page, there is a connection to your social media, including. Okay. I like how you have um, the fact that all the documents can be viewed by a certain author. So once you find an author you like, it, mm -hmm. and if they like you, they can look for more things that you're doing. Um, yeah. I really had not realized all of this uh, sort of marketing uh, engine behind it too. Yeah, this is actually, I mean, this is not for all authors, only more um, active authors. And we require a certain number of documents that you sell before we mm -hmm. add these additional features to your account. If we have articles, let's say we start out, you know, and we um, have one or two articles up on here and we would like to get to this status. Mm -hmm. um, are there like, are there uh, like best practices that you can share? Uh, is, I mean, um, how do, you, are there steps that we can take and, is, and can we market them, mm -hmm. you know, market our articles ourselves so that we can get more sales off of Flubby? Can you, any thoughts on that? Yeah, I, do, you, do you mean marketing your documents or? Right, like if I want to become a, a feature, one of the Flevy, yeah. whatever yeah. the title was, but I, I, I have to put more articles up. So now I have like six articles up there, but they're, and they're all wonderful, but nobody's ever bought them. So, you know, I'm trying to think, how do I yeah. generate, you know, what's the role I can play to maybe generate sales that then lets me fully benefit from the marketing engine that you have? Yeah, so there's, I guess, um, I'll say maybe two categories of activities you can do. Uh, one is there's a lot of things you can do on Flevy to um, try to generate more interest in your documents. And we actually we have a short article that kind of describes these sort of maybe guiding principles for maximizing your document sales. And I, I can share that with you afterwards. But um, there's, there's stuff like, let's say, uh, a lot of it is maybe formatting your documents so that the, uh, they all look consistent, like they're from the same author. Um, that makes a big difference. Um, making sure your document description is very detailed uh, and has all the keywords that uh, are relevant, that's, that also makes a difference. Uh, publishing actual articles that we circulate on our, on our blog and link back to your, to your documents. Um, that also helps a lot. And also within those articles, we can also link back to your firm's website or your LinkedIn. And we also promote these articles um, actively on social media. And so, so there's a number of things that, that are related to doing things on the thing, Flevy.com, that will help the exposure of your documents. Um, and then I guess the other category would be things that you can do yourself outside of Flevy, like um, 
sharing the fact that you published these documents to your LinkedIn network or any other social media. Yeah, you, you could tweet it. You could tweet it out and things like that, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And uh, I guess most people these days have some sort of online presence, particularly on LinkedIn. And many of our authors do, uh, do post uh, status updates of this. Um, also, I guess a lot of our authors have their own blogs or their own newsletters. And we encourage them to, I guess, uh, just notify their audience of the fact that they're also selling these documents on Flowey. So David, if I have a blog and it's on it and it has something where maybe a document of mine is something uh, that I want to guide them to, can I put a link in my blog to mm -hmm. my article directly or, or, or yeah. So I could be talking about project management and then say, if you want to know more about this or you're trying to do this, click here to, and then it takes me right to the document. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, you can even embed within your blog or, you know, wherever else, um, that partial preview of the document. That shows oh, that there okay. are the slides. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but on the product page underneath that preview, there there is like, a small link that says that where you can click to get the embed code for your blog or for your website. Uh, so, and we try to provide tools as well for you to um, share your, your documents outside of Flowey. And the thing is, yeah, uh, just real quick, uh, so something that may not be obvious is um, the, the more sales you generate, the, the easier it is to generate more sales on top of that because. Um, the way we order documents is largely based on your recent sales within the last 45 days. And so once you start selling documents, your document for that search result or however the customer is browsing the website will get ranked higher and higher. And obviously the higher it ranks, it's just like on Google, the more likely it'll get clicked uh, and, and uh, reach a sale. Okay, I have two questions that have popped up. Um, one is, do you find so we've had, we've seen presentations we've, in PowerPoint, and we have seen articles that would be maybe text documents. Is there? Do you have videos? Um, is there anything else as a format other than those three things? Oh, yeah. You, mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have. Uh, we don't actually support video. So I guess uh, uh, first off, the file formats that we have on the site. Uh, by default, our PowerPoint, Excel. So we, we also have Excel, a lot of financial models, just Excel tools, calculators, uh, Word documents, and PDF. Um, some authors have videos as well that they want to upload, and we can do that as well. We just that's uh, it's not automated through the website, which is self-service. You'll just have to email it to us, and then uh, we'll, we'll put it on the website. Um, but most of the documents fall under PowerPoint, and then Excel is actually our second most popular file format. There's a lot of um, different types of financial models or just um, different types of workbooks on Flavia as well. David, obviously, not just anybody can be an author. Anybody can buy a document, but not everybody can be an author. So is there, um, you know, so what's your vetting process of choosing an author and approving a document? Um, so actually, anyone can join to be an author. Um, the vetting process comes in when they upload documents uh, and we manually review the documents. Um, and so, uh, but, but that process is actually fairly uh, sort of simple. We just check a few things. One is that you can legally sell the document. It's not, let's say, a document that's branded Deloitte or something. Um, and two, that it's actually a business document. Uh, we don't want anything that's sort of out of the scope of what our audience is looking for. Um, and then if the document is really, really light and thin, um, or let's say it's too salesy, let's, it's like, let's say a pitch about your firm, then, then we don't approve those documents. Mm -hmm. um, but the approval process is pretty straightforward. But if, if, uh, you, if you, let's say, upload a document that um, isn't great, uh, or is it too specific or, or whatever the case may be and customers obviously are less likely to buy it. So as a marketplace, it's um, after our approval process is really the customer that kind of vets things and decides whether to spend money on it. And you might give some feedback based on your knowledge and experience. Like say I post something yeah. and I think 
it's got some potential, you might say, you know, but if you just did this and this, I think it would be better. You do yeah. that too sometimes? Yeah, definitely. And actually, um, yeah, that, that reminded me, we also have an article about how to format your presentations to generate the most sales. Um, and then I can provide that also after this webinar. But um, it's, uh, this may or may not be obvious to you already, but the formatting of the presentation, I feel, actually makes the biggest difference on whether someone buys the document, even if the content is exactly the same. And we have um, you know, a list of, of guiding principles around that as well. So uh, we encourage our authors. And also, once you join, there's, uh, this is really accessible on the website as well. But we encourage our authors to, if possible, abide by these rules that makes a big difference on generating sales. That's great. And, and if you give me those two articles, I will put them up as downloadable resources on our, um, in our member section. Cool. Yeah, definitely. That's a great idea. Yeah, and I think I may have already added those to the um, IMC landing page as well on Flevy. If not, I'll add those there as well. That sounds great. Well, um, I thank you for those questions. And this is, a, this is the end of this little section on how to use the Flevy site.